up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Boston at Concepts with WWE Hall of Famer, the legendary Undertaker. Hey, Joe. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Undertaker, your basketball career has been well documented, but since it's a sneaker show, I want right. to talk about like the sneakers you were wearing back then. I think we, you know, we found the pictures. Do you remember what like exactly you were wearing back in the day? Yeah, back in the day, uh, at practice we had the Canvas Chuck Taylors, okay. the Converse Chuck Taylors. But okay. For games, man, we had Dr. J's. All right. We had the leather Dr. J's. I love those shoes. And it was always fun, man, when we got our gear, our practice gear, our game gear, man. Get those fresh Dr. J's, man. So it was always a highlight of basketball season. So Converse, B Converse was big back then. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, but like playing in Chuck Taylors, you know, we see Chuck Taylors all over mm -hmm. the sneaker stores now. How tough was it for a guy your size <laughs> playing in Chuck Taylors? Well, at the time, you know, I mean, I'm a young man. I'm in my teens, so it, when you're in your teens, nothing really bothers you, right? Okay. <laughs> you could play with cinder blocks on your feet, right? But I couldn't imagine playing back basketball and canvas Chuck Taylors at this point, no. Fast forwarding a bunch, 2017, LeBron does a LeBron 14 in the Undertaker colors for mm -hmm. kids. It was a three pack and you know, the purple and black with right. like the Thunderbolt. What did you think about that shoe? And was it cool to see like LeBron homaging you in his sneaker? Oh, ab absolutely. I mean, anybody with, you know, LeBron's, you know, stature, obviously in the sneaker world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those were really cool. You know, anytime that you see some kind of homage paid to yourself and it, it's just, you know, it's kind of humbling. Yeah. And and to, to, you know, the kids are out there, you know, wearing their little LeBron undertakers there. It's, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. And I, I was, those, those shoes really turned out nice. One thing I like about this show is that sneaker moments come from everywhere. So 1998, Hell in the Cell, the iconic Mankind match. Right. You throw him off the cage, obviously. If he throws him off on the other side, there's... <laughs> but there's a sneaker moment in there that has been like on Reddit and things like that. Terry Funk comes in to try to like help. Yeah. You choke slam Terry Funk out of, out of, his, <laughs> out of his sneakers. Talk about that spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, you know, it's just one of those things that that happened. Um, obviously, you know, everyone was really concerned for mankind, yeah, right? I mean, going through yep. there. I mean, he was inches away from probably not getting up from that. So Crazy. that's why that that was all just that just all happened. And um, you know, what I was trying to do, like I, you know, I. One, I don't know what, how, what kind of shape mix in, right? Yes, yes. But then again, you just can't stand there and look around. So hey, there's a wrestler in the ring. Somebody's got to get it. Someone's so, getting choke slammed. Somebody's going to get choke slammed. Yeah. And Terry Funk was the uh, he, he was the recipient. And yeah, up he went. And there's the shoe. And uh, it, it does. It really, it's funny that something with in the stature of that match. Yes. What an iconic moment of Terry Funk losing his shoe to a choke slam. Earlier, we talked about the basketball career, but like you talked about like an mm. early Adidas that you right. bought for basketball. <laughs> yeah, What's man. the story with that? So I guess that was my, uh, you know, that was my, my sneakerhead moment. Back okay. in the day, Adidas came out. We're talking 40 years ago. Okay. So, but hell, even longer than that. It was even longer than that. But so, but they came out, right? And I'm just like, wow, man, I got to get those. Right? So I'm, you know, at the time, I think I was a 12, maybe a 12 and a half. I remember going to the Galleria in Houston, okay. in, in Houston, and and I see these the, the Adidas, and they're fifteens. Wow! Which at that time was, un, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, Which is you, crazy because you're fifteen now. Right. So they had a fifteen. They had a fifteen then, and, and it, you were a twelve and a half. And it's very, <laughs> it's very hard to walk into a sneaker store and find a pair of fifteens yes. that you like. It's just, it just doesn't really happen. But there they were, man. I was like, man, those are nice, and you know. And I remember my mom saying, "You're Mark. You're twelve. You're yeah. twelve and a half. I'm like, but mom, I, you know. So I spent all this birthday money that I mm -hmm. had, right? She tried to talk me out of it. Wasn't having it. I buy the 15s. Yeah. You know. And I get home and I put them on, and you know, I'm walking. Their the toes are curling up. They're just not. <laughs> yeah. They're just too big, right? So they end up sitting in my closet okay. for another two years before I could actually wear them. But you know, I did end up getting my money's worth out of them. But awesome. uh, yeah, that was that big. 
that big moment like man i've got to have those yeah and so it happens to us all the time you just see it and you, you do whatever it takes to get them yeah another collaboration puma did 23 pairs of uh, undertaker or puma clyde a mm. classic silhouette yeah but very very limited 23 pairs i think they released for like 500 dollars. right what about that project yeah, yeah uh, you know for especially i think you know for the collectors man that's yeah. uh, you know they only they did a very limited number of those mm -hmm. You know, really classic black, streamlined looking yes. shoe. It was, it's a really cool shoe. So, I'd be, I'd be curious what they, they, they may be worth now. Yeah. Um, you know, you, only you just 23 pairs. Yeah. Do you know anyone who has them? No, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I don't. Did you get a pair? I didn't even get a pair. Wow. Right? I mean, I, I, don't, I thought I had some juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get a pair. <laughs> yeah. So that's how, that, you know, that's how limited they were. So, if you've got them, yeah. Hey, man. Listen, Look me and up. in a size 15, <laughs> super rare. Yeah, if you got them in a 15, yeah, yeah we, can, we need to talk. We're in Boston. New Balance headquarters are here. I know that you love wearing New Balances. What about like those? You say you're all about fitness, but like New Balance is having such a big moment now. How big are you into that brand? Well, I, I love New Balance because, like I said, after all those years in boots, mm -hmm. um, my legs, my hips, everything have taken a beating, and they seem to be, for me, the most comfortable shoe. Yeah. It has nothing really to do with fashion. It's all about function, right. and uh, it, I need that, that that cushion and that just that enough of support, but it's the cushion they put in, um, and it's... It feels good on these old old dogs, I <laughs> tell you. And now, will you keep like in rotation to wear with like jeans like you are now? And in the gym, do you use the same ones? So, because I've seen you work out, I think like you use the New Balance 1080s to work mm -hmm. out in. Do right. you like keep them all in rotation or switch off? Yeah, I, I switch. I switch shoes. Uh, you know, obviously most most of my wardrobe minus today is black. So mm -hmm. I have a very large. <laughs> uh, you know, I got a pretty big supply of black. Uh, new balances yeah. but you know i got some grays obviously all uh, white a, a white yeah never worn these before okay so these are you know i uh <laughs> Brought him I'm a spent. fashion faux pas waiting to happen. No, you're, I was on vacation. You're killing, you're killing it. No, no, no. I, but I tell you a funny story. I, I was on vacation with my buddy, and because I do wear a lot of black, okay. so I got a lot of black socks too. Right? Okay. So I'd had black socks on with the white shoes, and he called me out. We were, uh. I don't, we were at dinner or something, and I had my foot stretched out. We were in the Bahamas, and, <laughs> and it, he goes. Uh, yeah, I, I like the uh, the white look you're trying to go there, but mm -hmm. you need to go with the white socks too. Mm. And I was like, yeah, okay, man. okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you but take his advice? I, uh, yeah, I think they're white, right? They're, yeah, we're yeah. white. All we're right, white listen. Today. All right, okay. You know. He influenced I'm, I'm, you I'm to a, go white on white. All right. I'm, I'm, I, you know, you don't have to tell me too many times. I can figure it out. Absolutely. <laughs> One shoe that I want to end with, which is pretty interesting. There's a New Balance 650 that is super popular. It's like a cool guy shoe. They're doing collabs on it, mm -hmm. but it's an old New Balance basketball sneaker. Do you feel like that's something that you may have wore back in the day? Yeah, it's, it's a classic shoe, but now it's having a moment in terms of like, they're doing collabs with fashion brands like Amelie and Dore, and it's like, really, really popular, but it looks like a simple basketball it shoe from look, back yeah. in the day. Yeah, it does. It does look kind of have that old school vibe to it. Yeah. I would wear those. Yeah. yeah, no doubt I'd wear those. Definitely, right? Yeah. That's slick, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it does. It has that old school vibe to it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice shoe. I'd, I'd wear that in a heartbeat. Amazing. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're going to take home. Oh, man. Here we go. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. All right, Tager, what can I help grab for you today? Well, you got this Hoka in a 15? I think I do. Do you really? I think so. Wow, that'd be awesome. Oh, you got that comes in a high too? Yeah. You got a high and a low? I can grab both. Okay. And I saw something over here. The uh, If you got this in a 15, you're amazing. Yeah, that would be my go-to right there. Cool. You find everything all right today? Yeah, man. I got stocked up here, man. You got some good choices. Well, I can't believe you guys all, you had 15s. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I mean, your total for these three today is going to be 440.63. But before that, I want to give you a little gift from us to you. Oh, really? Yes, sir. What you got, man? So we got Whoa. these right here. It's the orange lobsters right here. So I just keep in the box. It's a little uh, gift for you. Yeah, let me take a peek, man. That's awful kind of you. Uh, with the uh, lobster tie on the claw, yes, right? All of it. All of it, man. Oh, that is tight, man. 
Well, I appreciate that, man. Of Thank course, you very man. much. Of course. That's really cool. There you go, boss. Awesome, man. Get these bad boys. All right, man. I appreciate right, you. Thank course. you. So, Undertaker came through, told some great stories. Thanks so much for taking the time. No, man, enjoyed it, really. Make sure everyone checks out The One Dead Man Show, January 27th, San Antonio. Thanks again. Thank you, buddy.